Today we're going to talk about the perfect stance on your forehands and backhands. Now obviously we all know about closed stance and open stances and in case you don't know about it yet we have a couple of videos that we can link up here that make it easier for you to understand what each of those stances does. But now is there one perfect stance for every single player that they should use on the forehand and backhand? The, abs the answer is absolutely not because it depends on the situation you're in. Now we should all know that our goal is for every single shot, no matter if it's a forehand or a backhand, you want to make sure that you set up your feet first, that you find your balance and that you then swing. Now what does finding your balance mean? Finding your balance means that you do not lose balance during the shot. That means no matter how you set up your feet, you're able to swing through the ball without tumbling or falling over to the left or right. So now if we're taking a look at the balls that come to us, there's two different options that can happen. One could be that you have to move forward a little bit towards the ball, and one could be that you're moving sideways to the ball. No matter if it's coming at you, it's the same thing. You would move away first and then move towards the ball sideways. Now, both of these scenarios require a different type of stance, and this is valid for forehands and backhands. If you want to hit with closed stance and the ball is far to your side, and you're moving over here, and now you use a closed stance, you're more likely to tumble over to the right during your shot which is something that you don't want to do. Ideally, you want to make sure that you stay in position throughout your shot with both feet and with your hips. So you can see it's much easier to use an open stance if you're moving to the side. And now you can take a controlled step over to the side if you want to throughout your shot. But again, that's a balanced step. It's something that you planned before. It's not a consequence of your shot per se. If the ball is short, on the other hand, you have to move forward an open stance would make it very difficult to now still push into the ball because your last step is going forward. So more, you're more likely to kind of lose balance this way. So instead you want to take a closed stance approach to those shorter balls so you can now push your way through the ball without losing balance in this way as well. The same thing goes for your backhand. The ball is on your side. You should be using an open stance so you can push over here while you're hitting and not losing balance in the process, but pushing your body weight through the ball. And when the ball is short, you want to take that closed stance approach or semi-closed stance approach where you can push your weight through the ball from here. Okay, the only exception from the rule here is the one-handed backhand where you usually really want that kind of more closed stance approach, right? No matter if you're going over here or stepping forward because it just makes it much easier because of the nature of the swing here, not depending on rotation so it's not going to make you lose balance as much it's more of a arm forward motion and you want to keep your shoulders level right so that makes it much easier to keep your balance with a closed stance even if you're stepping to the sides so keeping that in mind you see that you have to practice both stances open and closed stance equally so you can get used to using the correct stance in the correct moment and have much better balance in the process and much better shots as an outcome of that practice. So keep that in mind, practice your open and closed stance and make sure that you apply it in the right moment so you hit better shots all the way throughout your match. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.